Hi, in this lesson I'm going to show you how to draw the octagon, an eight-sided polygon. So that will be a regular octagon. Let's say its sides are 30 millimeters each. So I'm going to start off with a base, 30 millimeter base. Now since the octagon has an exterior angle of 45 degrees, I'm going to set my set square to 45 degrees and draw another 30 millimeter line at 45 degrees. I'm going to do the same on the other side. A 30 millimeter line going that way with 45 degrees. 360 division by eight sides gives you a 45 degree exterior angle. Now I need two vertical lines. Again, 30 millimeter since it's a regular octagon. Set my set square to the 45 degree angle again. And the same for the other side. If you draw an accurately, you should get a horizontal line of 30 millimeter on top. That's the most basic way how to draw an octagon if you're given the side. And let's say as in the case of an hexagon, you're given not the side, but you're given the distance across flats. So let's say I want an octagon that has dimensions given as 70 across flats, 70 AF. So I've drawn a circle with that diameter. So I've opened the compass to 35 and drawn 70 diameter circle. Now since it's across flats, I'm going to draw the, 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 the polygon, the octagon, on the outside of my circle. So that the flats, the faces, touch the circle. You don't know how long the sides are, you just know the angles. So there I've just drawn two horizontals and two verticals. I've got almost a square. But the octagon has got eight sides at 45 degrees. So now I know the angle. Since I know the angle, now I know the length of the side. I'm drawing each side tangential to the circle. That is just touching. Alright, the 45 degree here. Then I went to parallel line here and did the 45 degree tangential on the other side. I'm going to do the same thing with the other angle. And all you need to do now is darken it. That's your octagon. I need a vertical here. A vertical here. Horizontal. Horizontal. So that's your hexagon AF. Sorry, octagon AF across flats. That would mean that if it's a 70 AF octagon, it's got 70 from this flat, from this face to this face, or from this face to this face, or from this face to this face, and so on. Now I'm going to, sh now I'm going to show you the only method we have <coughs> for an octagon across corners. That would mean I'm going to do the same octagon, but now I want so it's not the same octagon, it's, it's 70 AC, same dimension, but this time it's 70 across corners. So again, I'm going to draw the same circle, 70 diameter, but this time I need the octagon on the inside, not on the outside. So the corners, the corners would be touching 
this circle, not the, this, the faces. Now this is a particular octagon, because in this case the octagon will be standing on its vertex. So we've drawn a horizontal line and a vertical a vertical and a horizontal diameter. That gives you already four points of my octagon. Now to get the other four points I'm going to find the midpoint of those angles which is at 45 degrees that way and that way and that gives me my eight points equally distant and in a circle of 70 diameter so it's 70 AC. All you need to do is take a ruler, you don't need angles now and join the outside. You can hardly recognize it's an octagon since it's standing on its vertex. If you count the sides, so that's your octagon, but AC. It's the only method we got for the AC. Now the last one we, we have, when we want to draw a hexagon, sorry, an octagon again, in a square. I want an octagon in a 50 by 50 square. Now in a 50 by 50 square would mean that from this face to this face you'll have 50 and from this face to this the opposite face you'll have another 50. So if you're given this you can use this method. So a square 50 by 50 would, would mean that it's an across flat 50 millimeter so you could start off with a 50 millimeter diameter circle and draw this but there's another method in a square it's worth learning so I'm going to draw a 50 by 50 square I should have made it a bit fainter because the square is just part of my construction So this is square. And what you need to do first of all is to find the midpoint of that square. Now the easiest point, the easiest way to find the midpoint would be take a ruler and draw two diagonals. And you found the midpoint of that square. Now all you need to do is go from each corner, open to the midpoint, and mark this side and this side. Or you can just one arc mark those two points. If you do this from every point, from every corner, you'll get eight different points on each side. Two on each side, which makes a total of eight. If you join these points here, you'll get your octagon. I should have left the square fainter so you could see properly the octagon by duck and the square in the first hand. So those are the constructions for an octagon. Yeah, four different constructions for the octagon. Thanks. Please feel free to ask questions or leave your comments.